Hello, everyone. Welcome back to KTB Creates. I am so excited today because we are going to go through how to make this cute little wreath. Go ahead and click that like button and make sure you click on the subscribe so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Let's get started. We're gonna start with an embroidery hoop. It's a 12 inch embroidery hoop and I'm using some burlap fabric. I have a huge bolt of it. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered this, but it's from um, fabric.com. Um, so I do love this burlap. So I'm also taking one of those metal signs. It's the welcome sign that was part of the little harvest um, three pack sign at the Dollar Tree. I do love this sign, but I knew what I wanted to do with it and I felt like it needed to stand out a little bit more so that's why I'm painting it black. I will say to add Mod Podge over the black paint once it dries. I didn't do this step and I'll show you why in the end or I'll show you why you need to do that in the end. So next I'm going to go in and uh, stain the embroidery hoop with my, an my Waverly Antique uh, Glaze just because I... I just wanted a deeper, darker wooden look with it. Um, so this this did the trick. You can also use some watered down acrylic paint if that's what you prefer, uh, but I think the antique glaze is really quick and easy. And then I just rubbed it in with a paper towel. So next I had this little Buffalo check flag, or flag, not flag, scarf, <laughs> that I got at the Dollar Tree um, during the fall and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. So you'll see here, I put the burlap on my embroidery hoop, on the underneath part, and then I put, I wrapped this around under the top part, and I'm, I'm putting it all together that way. I hope that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain it. So once I did that, I went around and cut out the edge of all of the burlap, as close to the embroidery hoop as he can so you don't see any of that coming out on the back side. So then once you flip it over, this is what it'll look like. So then I just tied the scarf in a little like side um, knot um, and just played with it until I was happy with the way that it looked. And, you and I just let the excess hang like that. And then all I'm gonna go in and do is I decided to take a piece, another piece of burlap and cut it in like, kind of like that banner look with the um, pointed edges. And I just frayed it a little bit more around the edges and I'm gonna just hot glue it to my uh, Buffalo check scarf there, just because I felt like the welcome sign st stood out a lot more obviously. Uh, so that's all I'm gonna do here is just hot glue it just a few little dabs of hot glue, not too much. And I'm gonna hot glue that right to the fabric and then hot glue the welcome sign right on top of that. So next I'm gonna take some greens. I didn't wanna to add too much color to this. I wanted to keep it kind of simple. So I am just using some eucalyptus um, picks. Um, I'm gonna actually go, and I actually got those from Walmart, I believe. Uh, and I just put it through the top of that embroidery um, screw there. And then I'm gonna cut that and just hot glue it a little bit on there so it's, they stay really well. Uh, so I started out with that greenery, but I didn't feel like it was enough. So you'll see I started to go in and I added even more of the eucalyptus and those, and I'm sorry, the last, the first picks were the box, I think they're boxwood, I don't think they're eucalyptus, but I might be wrong. But anyways, this is a different type of eucalyptus, if it is, that I did get at Walmart as well. Um, so I felt like it just needed a little bit more on the sides, so I added this to it as well. And it was really quick and easy to make, and I absolutely love the way it looks. I think it's really unique and something that you really don't see often. And it was fairly inexpensive to make. If you have some burlap fabric hanging around, it's very easy to go ahead and make, make that. And I love the way it came. You can use it on your, on your door or somewhere in your house just for a cute little 
quick uh, welcome sign. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And I will definitely see you soon.